Hey everybody, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. So I'm coming to you today again from my computer. And so I just wanted to share with you guys, for anybody that was interested in the FOF that I had demonstrated last month, I do believe it was last month. It was either June, towards the end of June or the beginning of July. I can't remember exactly when I made the videos. Um, but at any rate, I just wanted to share with you that I have my FOF listed for sale on Etsy. So if you're interested in purchasing it, I have it listed for $600 and I believe $150 for shipping. Um, if I don't use all of the $100, $150 for shipping, I will reimburse um, any shipping costs that um, did not, uh, you know, that I did not use. So um, just want to let you know that. And so, um, so yeah, so pretty much I just wanted to do a quick, quick video just to let you guys know that the FOF is up for sale on um, my Etsy account and I will provide a link below so that you can go purchase it if you like because I'm trying to downsize a little bit and um, I just have too many sewing machines. Uh, I could probably go through like a list of them. I have my baby lock that I did my video on making my um, homestead market bag with. I have, um, so that's a sewing and embroidery machine also. This is also a sewing and embroidery machine. Um, I don't need two sewing and embroidery machines, so I decided to go ahead and just downsize um, because I don't need two of them. I have two treadle sewing machines, but I basically bought one of them for a desk purpose, and it the machine that's in it is called a knock. Maybe I'll share some of my sewing machines that I have. Um, and so I have two treadle sewing machines and the knock is a German brand and um, there's some fun stories with that from what I had heard and learned from um, some German people while I was over there when I was purchasing it and so that that's kind of cool so maybe I'll do a video on that and then show you guys the machines I have a old singer that isn't even in the manuals um, and it's it's a it's a um, a treadle machine also with no electricity to it so two of those um, types but this this one singer that I purchased over there in Germany it um, it's beautiful I call her Betty she has a name and so um, she sews like butter and so I really really like her and, um, and yes this sewing machine the the one that um, my computer is actually on top of it right now so um, I'm using it as a desk currently because we just have a limited space in our home so since I was able to repurpose the um, you know the treadle machine as a desk I'm doing that um, for now because of our, our rental that we have it's just too small to have a ton of machines set up and then I have a JC penny which is great for um, heavy-duty projects like jeans and stuff and then I have another machine, well I have a serger, that's just, you know, a basic, um, it's not basic, I guess it's like an extra machine, um, but I've had that one for years, it's a baby lock as well. And then I have a hand crank foff, and that one just, I believe, just does a straight stitch, and it stitches beautifully, but I have to use the hand crank to make it stitch, which is kind of fun. And so, um, yeah, so, and that one's a really beautiful machine too. So I probably won't get rid of the hand crank foff. It definitely won't be getting rid of my um, my treadle machines because I plan to, at the very least, maybe use them as um, uh, side tables in our bedroom or um, or whatever later on. I actually kind of want to use the singer that I have um, as for sewing. So I'll probably end up just using one as a desk somewhere in my house. Um, as a decorative piece and the other one will be set up eventually once we get a bigger home and our homestead for my gooseberries uh, I will actually set up my my singer so that I can use it um, and let me see here yeah so maybe I'll do some videos on that and um, I ended up selling a bunch of my spinning wheels that I had picked up in Germany I sold two of them recently and then I have this one that I that I'm gonna keep that is a lace weight spinning wheel and I guess people aren't really used to seeing how small um, some of the spinning wheels are from Europe 
um, this gal that bought it from one of the spinning wheels from me, she asked um, if it, if the Saxony spinning wheel that I sold her, if it was a child's um, spinning wheel because it was so short. And I said, no, actually, uh, their furniture, it, at least from what I saw, a lot of the furniture over in Europe was closer to the floor. So their spinning wheels were adjusted in height accordingly to like how tall their furniture and stuff was. Well, I'm assuming that because, I mean, even the sofa that I ended up purchasing over there, which is a vintage sofa that matches the vintage um, coffee table and side table that my grandmother gave me. They're both from the same era. They they work beautifully together. And so and it's pretty close to the floor. So I could comfortably actually use my small spinning wheel that I did keep, which is absolutely gorgeous. And it's a castle style spinning wheel. And I do believe it is probably usable, but I'll most likely just use it as decoration. But anyways, back at back to what's at hand here. Um, I am sharing this video just so that you know that you can go over to my Etsy shop if you're interested in purchasing this sewing machine. Um, it is in a great working condition. Um, I do want to note one little thing that I did some research on this. If you use the thread cutter on the machine, it can sometimes get thread caught in the thread cutter and then that will actually cause thread to loop underneath in the bobbin case area and get thread caught in the bobbin case area, which did happen to me. However, I have been able to get, I believe, all of the thread out of the bobbin case area on this machine. And um, the last time I used it, I was able to sew no problem. But um, sometimes I'll be sewing and if I forget and I use a thread cutter, I'll have to go through and use my tweezers and clean it all out. But this machine is due for a cleaning. So if there is a little bit of thread caught in the thread area where the um, thread cutter is, um, or if a couple tiny pieces got stuck in and around the bob case, bobbin casing area, that it's not really a big deal. It doesn't affect the sewing machine um, really in in its um, effectiveness to sew beautifully. However, um, I would recommend definitely taking the machine in um, to have it uh, serviced and clean because I did not have it reserviced after our last move across from Colorado to Washington State where it had been packed up by movers and it had been um, moved across. So any jostling and stuff will tend to sometimes throw off the settings just a little bit internally and I did work at a sewing machine store before, and that is something that I learned, that any time a sewing machine is shipped, whether it be by uh, through the mail, or if you're moving from state to state and it's in a box in the back of a truck or whatever, just slight jostles will cause um, um, certain mechanisms within your sewing machine to uh, maybe get off just a little bit, and that could also be the problem um, with every now and then the thread getting caught in the bobbin case scenario. But other than that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this machine, as you could see from my previous videos, that it does work really well. And that, um, you know, it's a great machine. I just love it, but I really need to just downsize. But I did want to clarify and let you guys know that that does tend to be an issue with this model. With if uh, I would probably recommend never never using the thread cutter. I did some reading and a lot of people have this problem. So I just wanted to clarify and let you guys know that. And, um, but this is a great machine, but I just have no use for, ha um, for two sewing machines that do embroidery and embroidery work. Um, you'll see in this picture that there are some hoops behind the machine. Those hoops do not come with the machine. So um, it'll come with what actually came with the machine. So I'll just go through this really quick with the, the um, I'm looking for my, my mouse thing. So I'm filling with one hand and clicking with the other one. All right, and looking at and making sure this is in the, in the viewfinder. All right, so you've got the main machine right there. And then you have this one. It's got the case right here that all the hoops and stuff are in. And then there's this part, you got your knee ball. Or, and then you know, you guys know from my other videos what's gonna be coming with it. I'm gonna add in a couple um, 
uh, embroidery discs and um, it comes with the little part that you hook from your computer to your sewing machine and so then you can connect I guess you can connect to the internet from there which is pretty darn cool um, somehow I've never I, I've never really connected to um, the internet with it but you know I just I just used it for sewing I didn't use this ever for embroidery and in fact the last time I had my machine serviced I did not use the embroidery area or this has just remained in the case since I had it serviced last and I think the last time I had it had it serviced was in the fall I'm wanting to say November of 2015 and then I actually haven't even touched the embroidery part because I only use the sewing machine part of the machine um, and like I said I don't have use for two sewing and embroidery machines so it's time to downsize time to let go I am gonna be really sad about letting go of this machine um, because I love the fact that it has the differential feed um, mechanism on it where you can actually just turn it into a walking foot the machine has this special patent um, uh, part that comes down and I'll show it it's shown in the videos that I've posted before this part and I'm gonna totally miss that part and I also am gonna miss the fact that it has get up and go um, my baby lock does not have get up and go and it's hard to go over thick layers of fabric even cotton fabric so that's the only downfall um, for my baby lock I would probably say that's the only thing which there's nothing wrong with my machine there at all either but I mean I've just gotten to the point where I'm not doing an embroidery work and so maybe it would be better for me to just get rid of all of my embroidery machines and then just replace my embroidery machines with just a one standard computerized um, newer computerized um, quilting machine and um, and leave it at that so I mean I've got some things going on in my head but this machine is ready to go I did so with it again after I cleaned out the thread from the last time it got caught in there I haven't had a whole lot of problems with this machine just the thread every now and then getting caught in the bobbin case area but it works great the machine works great it's um, just needs to be cleaned and serviced um, just to make sure the adjustments are right um, within the machine after my last move and also I just you know I went ahead and marked down the price I had it on sale for about eight hundred dollars um, so I went ahead and decided to mark down the price to six hundred that way you guys are saving a little bit of money and then what money that you would have possibly spent on the machine you could actually use to take it in and get it serviced most places charge anywhere from between I'm wanting to say I know it's gonna be more than a hundred so I'm gonna say between a hundred dollars and a hundred and ninety nine dollars somewhere in there um, would be depending on your um, your your place where you take it in to get serviced um, will depend on how much they charge you I mean back in I guess 2008 when I had worked at the sewing machine store they um, yeah it was like 125 for computerized sewing machines then but this is an older model um, but it is a very great model and everybody who has this machine they love this machine so um, this is a great machine um, so don't be don't be discouraged by me talking about the thread getting caught sometimes in the bobbin casing area um, that's not a big deal at all um, just for me personally um, I just need to downsize so that's the real reason why I'm selling and um, also I just I don't have the extra funds right now to take it in myself to have it serviced so whoever has enough money to take it in and have it serviced at this moment and and whatever by all means please <laughs> do me a favor take the machine off my hands um, you're gonna love it it's a great machine so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up I'm just kind of rambling now um, and anyways um, have a great evening and take care bye